booster box time. Hey, what is up guys, the new Bonnie here, and today we've got the brand new set of Magic the Gathering booster box Theros Beyond Death that we're going to be opening. 36 packs that we got to get through. It's going to be a long one, but I think I'm going to try and keep this video under 25 minutes. Having some problems with, uh, with storage and recording, but I did want to share with you guys this amazing poll that I got and my pre-release this weekend, uh, the Ashiok Nightmare Muse full art. So... This is officially the most expensive card that I have in my deck, uh, or in my collection. As of right now, uh, the TCG pricing is a little bit wonky, but as of today, this is going for about 50 bucks. So, oh, I'm so, I'm so very excited to open this set. I haven't been this excited since War of the Spark, but, uh, I don't want to waste any more of your guys' time. Let's go ahead and get this thing cracked open. So, I hope you all had a really great pre-release, uh, if you did end up going... The roads were pretty bad where I was at, but I was still able to go. There weren't too many people there, so it didn't go on for that long, luckily. But I had a good time nonetheless. Didn't get too many good pulls besides that, and I also pulled an Erebos. But, uh, you know, it's okay. It's uh, Pre-releases are time for having fun, playing Magic with the boys, because I don't get a whole lot of opportunities to do that nowadays since I have class and all that. So it's really good to just get out and actually play some magic. So let's keep these over here. We're gonna start with our first pack. And there is a pull tab on here, thank God. Hopefully I can get through these a lot faster now. Uh, I'm gonna skip through all, aw, oh, damn, these are set up uh, to show the rare immediately, but I am gonna be going through the rares and the uncommons. So uh, we're gonna keep uh, tokens wherever, that wherever. And first thing off, we got a Storm Herald. For our rare. And we got a Dream Shaper Shaman, Elspeth's Nightmare, and a Shoal Kraken. There's a lot more uh, Krakens and Octopus, Leviathans, and all that stuff in here. So that'll be really cool to, to see all those. I know they're not a really strong tribe in themselves, but, but that's okay. They'll get better one day. Wolves are just keep keep getting support they keep getting reprinted i don't know if you guys noticed that Ooh, we got a hack dose i didn't think this guy was that good when i first saw him seeing as how he's uh he's a six one and uh, i didn't read his ability correct but he's actually like a pretty fantastic dude especially uh in, in standard i think we're gonna see a lot of play on that uh we got a, a wolf willow haven hero of nixborn and a hateful eidolon but yeah, I've been playing a lot of standard recently, guys, because I have MTG Arena now. It's been uh, it's been kind of fun. I guess I haven't been on there in a while, but that's what school is gonna do to you. I'm not gonna let you, not gonna let me play Magic as much as I want to. Got a Pegasus and a Forest. Ooh, there we go, Dryad of the uh, the Elysian Grove. That's awesome. That card uh it's worth like 11 or 12 dollars right now it's an amazing card you can play an additional land on each of your turns and the lands that you control are every basic land type in addition to their type so that's going to be switching out the chromatic lantern we got a Timeric chosen from death heliod's punishment and uh illyrios and enraptured that's where the illusion token comes from bunch of commons i'm sorry i'm not going to go through the commons in this video I know there's a lot of new stuff. God, that is just... Did you see how that ripped? This is, like, disgustingly difficult plastic to tear. I hate that. I think the Japanese boxes open up a little bit different, but I'm scared it's going to bend my cards, so... Another soldier. we got a mountain. And a Protean uh, Thaumaturge. He's actually really good, and I really hope it goes up in price. He has Constellation, so whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, he becomes a copy of another target creature, except it has this ability. And I really like that. So we've got Devourer of Memory, Furious Rise, and a Minion's Return. I really hope Demir doesn't die, because they're going to be rotating the sets out. I honestly really like Demir. It's my favorite guild. It's what I play all the time, so... It'd be really sad to see something like that go. You see, and it, it just stops halfway. Like, the hell's the point in that? Oh, shit. Here we go. We got a satyr token and an island. 
See, it's already it's already bent this last car back here. Temple of Deceit, that's a good one right there. I think that's uh the most expensive temple, minus the uh the Golgari one. Got a Nessian Wanderer, Siona, Captain of Pileus, and Hydra's Growth. So the main reason I've been so excited for this set is because it's gonna be really good for commander players. There's a uh there's some really good uh, enchantments in here, and there's a lot of gods. Well, there's a lot of legendary creatures, nonetheless. And I think it's just going to be exactly what we need. You got a janky card. Don't even need that. Okay, get that out of here. Got planes. Got a foil. Sentinel's eyes. And a hey, Galia of the Endless Dance. I don't think this one's worth a whole lot, but I know that the uh, the full art one is worth quite a bit. Finally, some uh, some satyrs. Go ahead and make a Seder Commander deck, I guess. Uh, Mystic Repeal, one with the stars and commanding presence. This has been the first box in a long time that I have actually considered buying two of. If money wasn't so tight, I would definitely buy a second one. But I want to at least get this one out to you guys. We got a goat, we got a swamp, we got a citizen champion. Got a Nessian Horn Beetle, Phalanx Tactics, and Medomai's Prophecy. The Sagas are back. Haven't seen them since Dominaria, so it's good to see those again. And some of them are pretty powerful, too. Uh, I think my favorite one, I know it's not worth as much, but Fall of the Thran is probably my favorite My favorite saga. Human Soldier, got another island. I love, 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 love these islands, and I already revealed this, but holy shit, there we go. Heliod, Suncrown. This is going to be an amazing commander deck. Now, all I need to do is get Walking Ballista. So that is absolutely amazing to have. Was it $11 or $12 now? Eutropia, the twice favored. I wanted to get this card too. That's awesome. Uh, Entrancing Liar, that one actually, uh, that one was really hard to get around in the, the pre-release. Got a Mire Triton. But I had fun nonetheless. Even if my opponent was tapping down my 1-1-1-drop my one, one, one death touch. That's all right. You can't win them all. Seder, planes. Heliod's Intervention. I think it's the most expensive of the uh, of these interventions. Uh, for X, white, white, choose one. Destroy X target artifacts and or enchantments. Or target player gains twice X life. So I know that price is going to be all over the place. It's gone from $0.30 cents to $6. It's It's crazy. Renata, Called to the Hunt, Impending Doom, and A Field of Ruin. That one's worth something. So that's good to see a reprint of that. Maybe they'll bring back Field of the Dead, since they have Field of the Ruin in standard now. But, oh well. Ooh, that's a really good looking zombie. Zombie token, we got a forest. Foil, Threnody Singer. Followed by an Eidolon of Obstruction, making Planeswalker abilities cost one more colorless to activate. That'd be pretty interesting to see a build around that. Ferris Band Brawler, a Reverent Hoplite, and Cling to Dust. I can see that Eidolon being used in a, in a sideboard a lot. Because I know white needs more. You know, white always needs more control. But at least these have a pull tab on them, so they're not as difficult to open. Human Soldier, got a Mountain. Underworld Breach, Foil, there we go. That is gorgeous right there. What do we get? Uh, Aphemia, the the, caca, the cacophony, I guess. Jesus. At the beginning of your end step, you may exile an enchantment card from your graveyard. If you do, create a 2-2 black zombie creature token. I feel like that shouldn't be legendary, but that's just, that's just my opinion. Archon of Falling Stars, got a Clothus design. And a uh, Threnody Singer. Fat stacks. Fat stacks of cards. About a third of the way through now. I don't think we're going to make it to that 25 minute mark, but let's see here. Got Jank. Oh, it's aggravating. Why don't they just, just give us the token? Planes. Ooh! Ooh! Fuck yes! Oh, foil? Island. Now that is worth some change right there. Hell yeah, and it looks amazing. And a Dream Trawler. That's a really good one. That's going to see a lot of standard. 
A rise to glory. You got a gray merchant, an old Gary. Favorite of Iroas. Actually, I don't know if Gary's worth uh, anything in this set. Be good to see if he was, though. Oh, man, that foil island is so nice, though. Your buy a box promo actually comes with a... It's supposed to come with a foil land, but Wizards of the Coast fucked that up. So that's awesome. You usually, you just get a basic land with it. But uh, your local LGS uh, should give you the uh, the right land for it. But spider token. Forest. Shadow Spear. Hell yes. That's what I've been looking for. Oh my god. This is an amazing equipment. For one... Uh, uh, equipped creature gets plus one plus one and has trample and lifelink you can tap for one permanence your opponent's control lose hexproof and indestructible until the turn you don't even have to have it equipped to do that and you have an equip cost of two careless celebrant mischievous chimera and inevitable end i cannot wait to go through all these commons and uncommons and stuff later because i still got a lot of reading to do on all of that because i don't know what half the shit in the set does but I'm going to be making lots of decks out of this stuff, so i got to figure it out real quick. Reflection Token, Island, Treacherous, Blessing, that's an okay enchantment. Shimmerwing, Chimera, had one of those. The Birth of Melodus, Mirror Shield, and that's what we got for that. Ooh, next pack. I want to know down in the comments below, tell me... What is your guys' favorite card from this new set? Because I'm really interested. Oh my god! There we go. <laughs> I'm really interested to see what your guys' favorite card in this new set is. There it is. Glothis, God of Design. I I didn't say at the beginning, but I was really hoping we pulled at least two gods. Now, I hope we get a Thassa as well. Because I've almost got all of them. I'd also like a Perforos. Warden of the Chained. We got a Fateful End. And a Sea God's Scorn. But yeah, uh, my favorite card from this set so far, honestly, I uh, I don't know. It might have to be, uh, it might have to be, uh, shit, I can't even think of the name of it. I don't really care for the Planeswalkers as much in this. There was a, a Hydra I was really looking forward to. I got a Planes. Shadow of the Sky, that's a really good, uh, really good board wipe. Each player who controls a creature with power four or greater draws a card. Then you destroy all creatures, regardless of whether they're power four or greater. Nesting Horn Beetle, Heroes of the Revel, and the Phalanx Tactics. So the Phalanx are back. Let's see here if I can... Ah, oh, damn it. One of these I'm going to get completely perfect, right down the side. Got a gold token, that's new. Got a swamp, and I'm already seeing a foil. And Damn it, this guy is so bulk, it's not even funny. Anax, Hardened in the Forge. He's a decent card, but, like, he shows up way too often. Bronze Hide Lion. I do like this one. Banishing Light, Underworld Fires, and a Whirlwind Denial. All right, what do we got next? It'd be interesting if we got the uh, the Hound of Athreos. Because his effects are kind of the exact opposite of Athreos. Uh, human forest got another foil the temple thief oh <laughs> oh there we go yeah hell yeah uro titan of nature's wrath i think that was the most expensive card in the set upon uh the release date oh my goodness look at that elder giant that's awesome destiny spinner blood aspirant agonizing remorse I seriously might have to pick up another box of this because, as McDonald's would say, I'm loving it. These are these are great. Got that. Got a swamp, and we got a phoenix of ash. I don't I don't understand the hype around all the phoenixes. I don't really care for them, but to each his own. Slaughter priest of Mogus, Daxos, blessed by the sun, demigod, and sweet oblivion. Probably the weirdest looking card art I've seen. In the entire set. It doesn't even make sense. No part of that makes sense to me. One of these, we have to... Gotta peel it back correctly. God, it's annoying. Oh, what are we gonna get? A Dalakos, Crafter of Wonders. This card's interesting. 
Uh, he taps for two colorless spin that may not only cast artifact spells or activate abilities of artifacts and equip creatures you control have flying and haste. So I don't think he'd make a good commander necessarily, but he's definitely worthy of being in the 99. That was actually my uh, my pre-release promo. Nyx Herald, Drag to the Underworld, an Enemy of Enlightenment. That Enemy of Enlightenment was a fun one to play, but uh, I feel like he should really have escape for something that's a six drop and it gets minus one, minus one for each card in your opponent's hand. Like I get he makes him discard, but it's it's not it's not good enough. Planes. Mantle of the Wolf. Hey, Vehicles, Thundering Chariot, uh, Hero of the Winds, and a Sage of Mysteries. Close that one out. We're getting there, guys. We're almost almost two-thirds of the way through. We gotta pull at least two more mythics I would like to see. Maybe maybe just one, but I would like to. Easily. I mean I'd like I'd like every pack to have a mythic in it, but to each his own. Hey, there's a regular underworld breach, rare. No, there it is. Anax, Hardened in the Forge. I think I've never seen this dude not in this alternate art form. Acolyte of Affliction uh, and Farica's Spawn. So I don't know. You guys tell me down in the comments below if they make an Anax that isn't uh, in this art form. Or did Wizards just screw up <laughs> big time? Oh, yay, a wall. Got an island. There we go. Deny the Divine. Oh, what did we get here? A uh, Tyrannica, a Crowan Veteran. Pretty decent legendary creature that makes everything uh, a base power 4-4. Four, four. Staggering Insight, that's a really good enchantment. Escape Velocity and uh, Lagona, Band Storyteller. I'm going to keep the prices up in the in the right-hand corner. I probably should have told you guys that immediately. God dang it, I really biffed that one up. But I'm going to try and keep a running tally of our prices just to see how we're doing based off of what TCG player has to say. Got a Gravebreaker, Lemia. I don't know if this card's worth much at all. Lifelink, when it enters the battlefield, search your library for a card. Put it in your graveyard, then shelf your library. That's pretty great. And spells you cast from your graveyard cost one less to cast. So that should be worth something, especially with the escape cost now. Citizen Petitioner, Underworld Dreams, and Dawn Evangel. Moving on to our final, final stack of Theros Beyond Death. Let's see if we can get a, a Polychronos or, or any more of the gods. That'd be great. I still want a, uh, a Perforos, a Sager, a Mountain, Woe Strider, Impending Doom, Minion's Return, and Favorite of Iros. Eros, whatever it is. Words are difficult. God dang it. <sighs> Nothing's perfect. That's okay. Storm's Wrath. That's a decent decent red card. There we go. There's a, an alternate of Daxos, Blessed by the Sun. Or the Showcase, whatever they're called. Uh, the Triumph of Anax. And another ther uh, Theron shit, Threnody Singer. God, I can't speak. I said it. Words are hard. I mean it. They're very difficult. Well, that one was almost good. Almost perfect. Another zombie creature token. More islands. Take them all day, every day. Oh, I see. I see goodness behind this. Alcid of Life's Bounty. Foil. A Arasta of the Endless Web. That's a really interesting card because it relies on your opponents to cast instant and sorceries, but we'll take it. Uh, I got another Gary. Hateful Eidolon, and Alirios and Enraptured once again. Commons go away. Let's keep this up. We're getting close. Hitting that 20 minute mark. Dead card, don't care. Planes, not too bad. Uh, Starlit Mantle, there's a lot of foils in this set. I don't know why I'm getting so many. The first Iron Games for our rare saga. Rise to Glory, Ferris Band Brawler, and a Meyer Triton. Getting, getting a lot of uncommons. Are there any uncommons that are worth anything in here besides the? Uh... Oh, oh, perfect. 
Besides the uh, the field of the or not field of the dead, field of ruin, and maybe Gary. For hey, Elspeth, son's nemesis. I was not too excited for this Elspeth, but we'll take her all day, every day. That's awesome. Got our other planeswalker for the set. Timeric, chosen from death, reverent hoplite, and another Elspeth's nightmare. At least I think it's another. But that's sweet. We got Elspeth. Now we're just missing one more Planeswalker. Seder. Mountain. Thassa's Oracle. This is a pretty sweet rare, but it's got a lot of text on there. If you guys want to take a minute and pause, you can read that. I'm not going to read it out to you. Clothis Design, Hero of the Nextborn, and Commanding Presence. I heard somebody say last night to me at the pre-release that they weren't really excited for anything in this set, and I could not believe my ears hearing that. That's Can you guys believe that? Because I can't. Seder, Island. Thrix, the Sudden Storm. I don't know if he's going to be worth a whole lot, but Flash Flying, it's a 5-drop spells you cast with converted mana cast 5 or greater. Costs 1 less to cast, and they can't be countered. That's pretty legit. Eutropia again. Uh, Calafi, Beloved by the Sea. And a Stinging Lionfish. A stinging Lionfish should definitely not be a rare. Or not a rare, but it shouldn't be an uncommon. For a 2-drop two 2-1, two it doesn't do anything. Human Soldier. Mountain. Temple of Abandon. Chainweb uh, Arachnir. The Binding of the Titans. And Soul Guide Lantern. The Soul Guide Lantern is going to be really, uh, really useful against this new escape mechanic. And I didn't read it correctly. I thought with the escape mechanic that you could only do it once. No, you can activate that shit over and over and over again. It's awesome. Got a Foil, Entrancing Liar, and Nylia's Intervention. This is a pretty sweet one for X and Green Green. Uh, choose one, search your library for up to X land cards, reveal them, put them into your hand, then shuffle your library. That's any land, doesn't have to be basic or non-basic. Or Nylia's Intervention deals twice X damage to each creature with flying. So green's always trying to get rid of flying. Dreamstalker Manicore, uh, an entrancing liar, and glimpse of freedom. That was a pretty sweet art on that one. We got yeah, three more packs. This is our third. Trash cans full of packs. Gonna have to take that out too. Boom! More islands all day every day. Archon of Sun's Grace. Uh, Renata called to the hunt. Uh, oh shoot! We got Alicia of Life's Bounty and another Field of Ruin. Field of Ruin will always take it. Second to last pack. What are we going to get? Hey, the Nightmare Token. That's good to see. I'll go with my my Ashiok. Force. Ooh, Foil Temple of Malice. That's a good looking one. What else we got here? Ah, Timeret. Oh shoot, putting that in the wrong pile. That's the foil pile. Timeret calls the dead. We got another Siona, Captain of the Pileys, Scophos, Maze Warden, and a Cling to Dust. And this is it, you guys, the very last pack of Theros Beyond Death that I have to open for the channel. Let's hope for something great here. Got a wolf. Planes. Ooh, Foil Infuriate, and Ashiok's Erasure to close things out with. Not not too shabby right there. Devourer Memory, Archon of Falling Stars, and uh, Madome, Madome's Prophecy. So that that has been a pretty great opening, honestly. Like, I don't think we pulled too many Mythics, but honestly, the ones we did get, I'm totally okay with. We got Gods. We got tons of gods, Elder Giant, Planeswalker. So, thank you all so much for watching this. I've had a lot of fun opening this box for you guys. Uh, for you guys, best of luck to you with all your boxes, and I will see you guys in the next one.